Hello everyone, my name is Maria Jen and today I am going to talk to you about a book called Mastermind – How to Think Like Sherlock Holmes, written by psychologist and journalist Maria Konnikova. In this video, I will be talking about a few tricks that Konnikova recommends us to use and, well, what I think of them. Before that, I would like to remind you to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate your support, thank you. As a person who read the entire Sherlock Holmes and who is interested in books about self-improvement and detectives, the title really intrigued me. Konnikova, the author of the book, is also a really interesting person in real life. At about four years of age, her family immigrated to the United States from Russia. Maria studied as a psychologist at Harvard and Columbia universities. She wrote her PhD dissertation about poker and the psychology behind it, and right now she is killing it in the poker world. After hearing such facts about her life, I, of course, decided to give this book a try. Mastermind – How to Think Like Sherlock Holmes turned out to be a pretty interesting and thought-provoking read. This non-fiction talks about the functioning and the hidden elements behind the mind of the most well-known detective of all time in fiction literature. Konnikova contrasts two systems of thought, System Watson and System Holmes. The former overlooks details and jumps to conclusions based on what seems most likely at the time, and the latter is being a reflective and disciplined person who takes everything into account, considers everything before actually arriving at a conclusion. Mastermind can be boiled down into a few pieces of advice for those who want to enter into a more Holmes-like state of mind and thought. Although these pieces of advice are pretty difficult to follow for beginners, with practice everything becomes easier. It's important to stay motivated about that. The first and probably the most important step is to become mindful, which is easier said than done in the modern world of multitasking. Multitasking has always been a bad thing, the results of which don't pay off. There are very few people who can multitask without affecting the quality of work. In order to achieve this mindfulness, Konnikova notes that we must improve our natural attentional abilities by being objective, selective, inclusive, and engaged. We must also always consider every scenario, which is another piece of advice and all evidence, no matter how improbable it may seem. As Holmes repeatedly says, the improbably is not necessarily impossible. Imagination and creativity are important in your daily life. These qualities make you smarter and help you come up with better solutions to various problems. Overall, Mastermind is a stimulating book. It really makes a distinction between a static mind, like Watson's, and a dynamic mind, like Holmes's, and gives us instructions on how to have the latter. This is not a light read, as evidenced by multiple sources listed at the end of each chapter and the end of the book. When you read it, you get a slight feeling that you are reading a textbook. The book also uses some intricate vocabulary. With the frequent use of such scientific and psychological terms as reward, prediction error, effect, heuristic, and, decla and declarative memory, to name a few, this book is aimed at an audience who knows the technical details of the mind on some level and who's engaged. Readers are not required to have a full arsenal of knowledge regarding the cases of Sherlock Holmes, of course, but this would quite obviously enhance the experience. Maria Konnikova gives many scenarios from Sir Conan Doyle's stories as examples. The extensive research and background material, including notes for further reading after each chapter, and the cumulative index make for an interesting adventure. I'd give this book a rating of 5 out of 5. It's pretty interesting, gives a good insight into the mind of one of the most legendary characters of all time, and gives everything it promises to give. Hope you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, check out my Fiverr gigs and my blog, readermaria.com. 
Thanks for watching this video. Bye.